Les Schwab's Friday Night Rivals, sponsored by the U.S. Army. We are back and ready to roll. Tonight we come to you from Veterans Memorial Stadium and a big matchup in the track. The Broncos of Clovis North against the Buchanan Bears on Les Schwab Tires. Friday Night Rivals. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ralph Wood along with Cam Morrell, soon to be joined by Kevin Miller. Thanks for joining us tonight. You know, Cam, when we first saw this game on the schedule, we thought, wow, this will be the game of the year. Now you've got one team 8-0, the other team trying to get its first win in conference, but these are two teams that go at it anytime they meet. Yeah, I mean, they split the series last season. Buchanan beat Clovis North in the semifinals of the Central Section playoffs, so we knew it was going to be a tight race. Buchanan just hasn't quite hit the same stride, but in track play, Buchanan's played a really tough schedule. These two teams always play close games. When you take a look at the standings, they bookend the top and the bottom. Clovis North at 3-0, and 8-0 and overall. Buchanan at 0-3 and in conference, so you know the Bears have some work to do. They do, but you can throw those records out tonight yep. because these guys know each other well. They played twice last season, two very close games. These guys have been competing against each other their entire football career, so they'll be ready to go tonight. Let's talk about uh, some of your players to watch and a guy we're anxious to see, Jackson Sinfell for Clovis North. Yeah, Jackson Sinfell averaging about 150 yards on the ground per game. We saw him against Memorial in the opening game this season. A physical runner can make you miss in space. He is a big time running back and he will see the ball 20 plus times tonight. Yeah, you don't go 8-0 no, though without a lot of guys That's and they right. have more. Braden Bitter is another. Yeah, Braden Bitter, leading tackler on this team, the most physical player on this defense. Buchanan offensively, they want to run the football. They want to be physical. Number eight in the middle is going to be a big key to slowing this Buchanan rushing attack down tonight. The Bears have uh, Giovanni Chiramonti. Yeah, Gio Germonte, leading receiver this season, but inserted as the quarterback last week and played well. So we'll see. Expect him to be the signal caller tonight. Could be out wide at receiver. We don't really know, but he's a big weapon for this Buchanan offense. One guy we're not going to see is Fresno State commit Logan Stute out with an injury. Yeah, unfortunate we won't see Logan Stute tonight. He is a fantastic football player, has been since he stepped on the field as a freshman for Buchanan. Has a, a little bit of a banged up foot, so won't see him, but Fresno State fans, you will see this guy in the near future with the Bulldog helmet on. He's a, he's a fantastic football player. Clovis North's Vincent Cordoba is the academic athlete of the week, sponsored by Donald P. Dick. Three generations of Mr. Cool. Let's hear from him on good grades. Uh, like everyone says, tomorrow isn't always guaranteed, and especially with athletics, you know. Uh, I have aspirations of playing at the next level, but... I mean, all it takes is one little, inter one little injury and then my football career is gone. So I've always liked to be well-rounded and be good on the field and off the field. I come from a very um, Hispanic household. I mean, hard work and hard work and I mean, just being determined really everything I do has been something that's been instilled in me since I was younger, like in my home. So uh, I want to give credit to my parents for that. But I mean, really, I just put my, my best foot forward for anything I do. guys out there. <laughs> That's right. Very good football player. Fantastic family, the Cordobas. Excited to see Vincent compete tonight. Atmosphere is starting to build here at Veterans Memorial Stadium. We're moments away from the kickoff, so stay with us. We'll have that and more right after this. Back to Veterans Memorial Stadium as we get you ready for Clovis North against Buchanan. It's time to bring in the third member of the broadcast team, Kevin Miller. Kevin? I am here in the Clovis North student section, otherwise known as the Despicable Stampede. Hey, by the way, who's your favorite minion? Kevin. How about you? Your favorite minion? Kevin. You? Kevin? Who's your favorite minion? Kevin! Well, Kevin says, this is Friday night! Let's go! 
Welcome back. Tonight's kickoff weather is sponsored by Roos Heating, Air Conditioning, and Refrigeration. You can't lose with Roos. And this weather information supplied by Chris Kuiper, KMPH Meteorologist. 85 degrees at kickoff. Humid. Balmy. Yeah. A balmy 85 in late October. And not a not breath bad. of wind. <laughs> you look all. at the flags, they at are all. not moving. Won't affect this game too much tonight. I mean, two teams that want to run the football, two very physical fronts. Really uh, almost a battle of will tonight between the front sevens for both of these programs. You can play that type of football in the heat. You can play that type of football in the snow. Not going to make a real big impact on the game tonight. Kickoff taken just outside the five-yard line across the 20. 25-30. Nice return for a guy we don't have on our roster. <laughs> oh, there he is, Wafer. Wafer Carvel. Yeah. Tonight's first quarter is sponsored by BD&J Lawyers. Over 1.5 billion recovered for our clients. Yeah, freshman on the return. Nice return from Wafer Carvel. And it looks like Gio... Chiramonte will be at least start the game at quarterback. First start at QB last week, played well. Handoff on first down goes to Garrett Minon. Runs into a brick wall and then is thrown down to the turf. It's Buchanan offense. They want to be physical. We saw them last season. They were a physical offense. They also had Jade Mandel, who's now wearing Fresno State colors. So they had a a dual threat. They were two dimensional. This year, it's, they've really struggled to move the ball through the air, and it's allowed defenses like Clovis North. We see eight guys in the box near the line of scrimmage to try to stop this rushing attack. Tell us a little bit about your keys to the game tonight. Yeah, pr pretty straightforward for Buchanan. They have to match the physicality of a very physical Clovis North football team. They can't give up any big plays. Clovis North loves to lull you to sleep. Run, 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 play action. Vinny Cordoba over the top for Clovis North. Control the tempo. Don't allow Buchanan to play at their tempo. You control the tempo of the game. And then if you ground and pound this team, I think you can do enough to win the football game. The pitch to the near side. Room to run down the near sideline across midfield. Austin Finnegan. First and 10 sponsored by Lithia Subaru. That's a nice little wrinkle, a triple option right there. When you have an athlete like Gio Chiramonte at the quarterback position, you can expand the way you can attack defenses on the ground. That time, true triple option. The, the fake to the fullback, the, the option, he pitches it to the pitch man. Nobody accounting for him and a nice big chunk play for a first down. Keep it on the ground. This time, ball carrier is number 34, Logan Phillips. Gain about three to the 42. There's the starters on offense for Buchanan. Well, we'll see a lot of guys in the backfield tonight for Buchanan. I mean, they're lining up with three guys in the backfield next to Gio Chiramonte. The last couple of, of snaps, we'll see a lot of guys rotate through. Garrett Minog, one of the most physical runners for this Buchanan offense. Chiramonte hands it off to Menaw. 35 inside the 30, has a first down and more down to about the 27-yard line. Another first and 10, sponsored by Lithia Subaru. Buchanan doing a good job right now of attacking the edge of this Clovis North defense. They tried to run it inside, in between the tackles the first couple of plays. No success. Now they're getting to the perimeter and having success. Clovis North has lost leverage a couple times and allowed Buchanan to pick up a couple first downs. From the 27. Menon again tries to dip outside. 
Breaks away from the first defender, but is eventually drawn, taken down. McKay Matson was the first there to slow him. Second down. Yeah, good job that time by McKay Matson. It looked like Buchanan again was going to get the perimeter, but McKay Matson works off a block. Physical at the point of attack, but Manal, we talked about it. He's a physical runner, was able to slide off that tackle to pick up some positive yardage. But a good job by McKay Matson. That time he usually is in the middle. They moved him down to the outside, held the outside, kept leverage, and minimized that game for Buchanan. Hand off to Phillips inside the 25, down to about the 23. Yeah, Braden Bitter, we talked about him before the game. If you're going to run in between the tackles, you have to account for number eight because when he gets a run read, he is coming downhill, and he's coming downhill with bad intentions. That time, really nice tackle right at the point of attack, being physical, not allowing a lot of yards after contact, and setting up about third and seven, probably four down territory for this Buchanan offense. Pass comes to the near side. It's complete. Phillips run out of bounds right around the 20, so it's going to be fourth and short. Fourth and about three. Yeah, it looks like, looks like they're running the field goal crew on. A little bit surprised, fourth and three, but that's a really nice first drive from Buchanan. You, you get the kickoff, Clovis North defers. You have a nice sustained drive. You want to get some points on the board after this positive first drive for your offense. 37-yard field goal attempt is no good. Wow, just kept hooking just outside that upright. Thought it was going to sneak in. So a nice drive, but the Bears come away with no points. Nice drive, four and a half minutes taken off the clock. You know, that's what, that's what Buchanan wants to do. They want to be in control of the tempo of this football game. They want to sustain drives, and they want to do it mostly on the ground. That was a great first drive. You just, if you're Buchanan, you would have liked to have gotten some points after such a positive first possession. This is a such a powerful offensive team in Clovis North. We, we realized that the first time we saw them in the first game this year. There's a look at uh, how they run that offense. The guys that make it go, Cosmo, the quarterback. Sinfell going to get the uh, bulk of the running load. Yeah, they really have three guys that can run it. Sinfell is the guy. McCabe Matson, who we saw week one, another guy that can that can play. Andrew Chavez, another running back with multiple touchdowns on the year. Uh-oh. Pitch to Sinfield. He got a great kick out block. And carries it up to about the 38-yard line. First and 10 is sponsored by Olivia Subaru. Nice open field tackle from Donovan Tubmore. We've seen Jackson Sinfeld hit the corner and get some space and go to the house. Nice job tracking from inside out, but... We see Clovis North pulling some bodies in front of Jackson Simfeld, getting some kick out. Simfeld busting it right in between those blocks. Really nice pickup for a first yeah, I down. I think it was Aiden Gum on the kick out block, number 62. Flag on the play, sponsored by Fresno Suit Outlet, home of the three suit deal. Dead ball, Croachman. Defense, five yards, first down. Referee tonight is Joe Kitchen. First and five. Cosmo fakes the handoff, looking to the near side, throwing to the sideline. Pass is complete. Down to about the 40-yard line. Vincent Cordova was the receiver. Yeah, Donovan Dunmore out there in single coverage against Vincent Cordova. 
not just a scholar athlete, but the, the best receiver on this Clovis North team. Single coverage, he presses off the line of scrimmage, sits down about 12 yards. Nice play action fake from Cosma and Vinny Cordova wide open for a first down. Middle linebacker Logan Stute, a late scratch tonight. Fresno State commit has an injury to keep him out of this game. Sinfeld powers inside the 40 down to about the 38 and a half. Yeah, Buchanan not messing around with this Clovis North run game tonight. They are not going to allow them to run the football in between the tackles as much as they can try to stop them. As soon as they see run action, the second level defenders are flying downhill hitting open gaps so we'll see if Clovis North continues to try and pound the football if they do add a little bit more play action or some RPO game to get some space in, in behind those linebackers second down pitch to McKay Madsen may have lost a yard yeah I had some space too was just about to put that foot in the ground and get vertical and that foot slipped on this natural turf here at Veterans Memorial Stadium a little bit of an answer for Clovis North, pulling some guys trying to get outside the tackle box a little bit because of Buchanan playing so tight to the line of scrimmage in between the, the tackles. And we'll see third and ten now. Clovis North on the plus 40 would, would, would definitely not be surprised to see them run the ball to set up a fourth and manageable here. Cosma throws, has the oh. pass complete inside the 35, down to about the 30-yard line, making that catch and run play. Zach Reimer. Well, check that. Kyle, Kyle Kobashi. And once he caught the ball, he got some good blocking and knew what to do. Yeah, he did. got a pancake plot out, uh, out there on the perimeter, but Kyle Kobashi, we saw him against Samuel Cone Memorial. He's that slot receiver. He's that matchup problem in the middle of the football field. That time he runs the bubble with two blockers out in front of him. He does a nice job reading the blocks, getting to the perimeter, and getting just enough yardage to pick up a first down. And the first and ten sponsored by Alethia Subaru. Cosman looking to the near side. Throws it downfield, has a receiver wide open. That's Jacob Couch. Just near the 15. Another first and 10 sponsored by Lithia Subaru. Mario Cosma, good athlete at the quarterback position. That time a nice bootleg play action fake. You can, and we talked about it already on this first possession. They're coming downhill very quickly when they see run action. Cosma pulls it, gets outside the pocket, had a a, a, a first level route open decides at the second level route to couch for another Clovis North first down This is Madsen carrying defenders Inside the 10 to about the seven and a half maybe eight Yeah, just a simple inside zone, but you have Levi Spriggs coming in as a lead blocker from that wing position, so it creates an extra gap. McKay Matson, nice job getting skinny and getting through that. Matson again get... spun down at about the five. So that'll be a first and goal. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. Yeah, they like to speed it up a little bit. Second and short, let's just line up inside zone again, give it to our powerful running back and see if he can move the sticks. Now, First and goal inside the five-yard line. Clovis North with an opportunity to put some points on the board in their, on their first possession. Now in the Toyota red zone. Cosmo to Madsen. Oh. Fighting, 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 pushing. And they're going to say he's just short of the end zone. So second and goal. Yeah, they're probably going to get on the ball quick, quick, give it right back to number three on an inside zone. Matson over the top, been in, in the end zone. Touchdown, Corpus North. The touchdown is sponsored by Port of Subs, your neighborhood sandwich shop. 
Nice answer from Clovis North. Buchanan, a nice drive on their first possession. End up without points because of the missed field goal. And then Clovis North, I mean, this is exactly how they want to play offense. Run it, play physical, get our guys out in space a little bit with some blockers in front. Then we're going to play action pass and take advantage of all that open space because your defenders are coming downhill to defend that run game. Textbook opening drive for Vince Grandstead of the offensive coordinator in this Clovis North offense. Wyatt Johnson with the extra point. The Broncos are on the board. 2-10 to go in the first quarter. It's 7-0. Clovis North over Buchanan. We'll be back after this timeout. Welcome back, everybody. Clovis North with a 7 0 lead over Buchanan. Cam, we've got 2 10 left in the first quarter, and each team has had one yeah. long drive. <laughs> We talked about who is going to be able to control the tempo of this football game. And these offenses are, are, are they're designed a little bit the same. They are very uh, intentional with the way that they operate their, their offense. They don't move quickly unless, like we see Clovis North, they have a second and short, third and short. They're going to get on the ball quickly and try to convert that, that first down. But... You know, Buchanan wants to keep the ball away from this Clovis North offense. Clovis North wants to execute that kind of controlled tempo offense. And we'll see, you know, a couple of drive stops to get the ball back to your offense quickly. You know, really could be the difference in this game early. Madsen, who just scored the touchdown, kicks it off and boots it out of bounds. Let's send it downstairs to Kevin Miller. Kevin. Hey, we are back, and of course, that means the Chris Stubner Show, starring and hosted by Chris Stubner, the KFC deep-fried Cajun turkey night. It's our favorite show of the night. Chris, I'm going to hand it over early. You're going to guide me through because I'm hungry. Let's go. What do we got? That's right. Well, one, it's hard to talk about turkey when it's 90 degrees out, right? Where are my it's, oh, turkey but, all the time. Any weather. But KFC, right now, you can pre-order your turkey for your Thanksgiving. They're available beginning November. You can what are we get doing? all the fixings. So if you want a turkey, do your own fixings. You want to come down, you want to order the complete meal. We've got a couple different plans you can order. We've got corn on the cob. And new, Kevin, you picked it out. Yes. We have the cornbread muffins. Now only at our KFCs, you can get the cornbread muffins as well as biscuits. The breaking of bread, literally. Oh. We have Hello. corn on the cob, mash and gravy, coleslaw, mac and cheese, green beans, corn, baked beans. We have the whole meal. How do we get them, Chris? How do we get it? The whole meal. You call the number behind me. Felicia will be happy to take your order. Felicia. Or go into any KFC restaurant, tell the manager you want to pre-order your turkey dinner, and we'll have it ready for you on pickup on Thanksgiving Day or any time in the month of November and December. We'll have turkeys going into Christmas. Love it. So thematic, so appropriate, so available for you. This is it. Get it while it lasts. Call that number. Chris Zubner Show. Ralph Cam. Penalty on the last kick. There's a re-kick and return to the 30. Kevin does all the fun stuff. He's eating a feast down Carville there. again. Yeah, really, that was a decision that cost Buchanan five yards. You kick it out of bounds, you get the ball at the 35 instead. They're going to start this possession at the 30. But, you know, McKay Matz is not the starting kicker for Clovis North. The kicker went down, so make him re-kick and see if uh, we get better field position. McKay just kicked a line drive that time. So here now we go. you can't have a 70-yard kickoff return for a touchdown unless you make him kick off. That's right? very true. Very true. So the Bears are back on offense. The handoff into the pile, and not much there. Gain of maybe one or two for Carvel. Yeah, much of, much of the same for Buchanan. Just trying to control the line of scrimmage. 
pulling a couple guys, trying to get some blockers in front of Carvel. Here we go again, this, this three running back alignment. Ooh. This time the handoff goes to Finnegan out to the 40. I see that's well, he's gonna give him the first down. Nice run by Finnegan that time. Just a sophomore making a guy miss, pushing outside, then putting that outside foot in the ground and cutting back inside and getting just enough to, to move the sticks. But we see, I mean, this is what Buchanan wants to do. They're gonna looks like they're gonna stay a lot of the times in this three running back backfield. Under a minute to go now in the first quarter. Oh. Phillips just fighting for yards. Gets out across 45 to about the 47. So a gain of seven. Yeah, I mean, you see a lot of young players on this Buchanan offense. They lost so many guys to graduation last year. Chief among them, Jaden Mandel, playing for the Fresno State Bulldogs this season. This is a nice start to the game. We knew they were going to be ready to play in a rivalry game, but this is a nice start to this Buchanan offense, which has really struggled to put points on the board this season. Carville dips it outside. Midfield has the first down, runs out of bounds. Ten seconds to go in the quarter. Nice speed from the freshman. Getting to the perimeter again. It's the third time so far early in this game. Clovis North that defensively has lost leverage and allowed Buchanan to hit the, the perimeter for a nice pickup. That time the freshman outrunning everybody to the sideline and moving the sticks. Hand off to Carvel again. Gets to the 45 and is stopped there as the final seconds tick off on this first quarter. Three possessions <laughs> in the first quarter. Tonight's first quarter has been sponsored by BD&J Lawyers. Over $1.5 recovered for our clients. Two and a half possessions, not even three. Yeah, three right. not They're not done three. with this possession. So very intentional from both of these offenses so far. Okay, we played one. We're coming back for quarter number two and see if we can continue to move the ball and get on the board. You're watching Les Schwab Tires Friday Night Rival. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Cam did a little investigating, and we appear this the, the roster we were given instead of Carvel Wafer says Wafer Carvel. Yeah. So, Carvel so Wafer. Carvel Wafer. <laughs> and he's a, he's a really nice looking freshman. You know how hard it is to play varsity football as a freshman at this level in this in this conference? Man, it's tough. And he looks like he belongs he's on the football He's getting plenty of field. action, yeah. that's for sure. Gio Ciaramonte doing a nice job orchestrating this offense. Only second start as a QB. Leading receiver coming into last week. And now the signal caller of this offense has done a nice job moving the football so far in this first quarter. Well, I've covered a couple of Ciaramontes at Fresno State. <laughs> Another one, I think, are kids played Little League Baseball together. And they... They represent themselves very well. Yeah, yeah, good, good dudes. That play with got a Jacino, yeah. who's now the chief of police chief. in Madera. Giuseppe, who was a catcher at Fresno State when I was there. Yeah, nice to see uh, the name continue in the Central Valley. Nice tackle that time by Vincent Cordova, working off a block. No yards after contact that time. So it's third and seven. Germany back to throw over the middle as the pass complete caught by Finnegan. That'll be good enough for a first 10 sponsored by Lithia Subaru. But he nice. threw a strike yeah, in the traffic. He did. And it was a really nice job by Gio Chiramonte working through his progressions short to long. So 
of didn't throw that route that would have been short of the sticks that was open but waited for that dig route in behind it to open up put it right on the money and then Finnegan doing a nice job fighting for some extra yards after the catch Phillips didn't get back to the line of scrimmage taken down by Trent Rogers and Ross Sinfeld. Yeah, Ross There's Sinfeld. There's the brother in that yeah, deal. Just, uh, you know, brother, br twin brother Jackson. You've w watched these guys since they were like seventh graders. Just, I mean, they're, they've looked like this since they were in seventh grade. Just grown men. And he's, 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 a, he's a havoc. He's wreaking havoc right now in the middle of this Clovis North defensive line. I think he's buff two. And the other one's buff one. <laughs> Seriously, they, I mean, they have looked like that since, you know, they were. 13 years old and it's not because you know they were born that way they, they work as hard as anybody in the weight room Phillips carries it inside the 30 tonight's second quarter is brought to you by Sang Pediatrics let's see they, they've only ran that triple option look one time and they had success on it waiting to see them run that again Germani in trouble and is thrown down against Sinfell there on the defensive play. A loss out to the 33. Yeah, trying to work the perimeter again. That time just quarterback power. You have an athlete, Gio Chiramonte, put some lead blockers in front of him. You know, they're not trying to pick it all up. They're trying to pick up a little bit on third down to create a more manageable fourth down. Now, fourth and nine, it makes you one-dimensional offensively, Clovis North pretty much knows you're going to have to throw the football. They can send pressure. They can try to get the ball out of Chiramonte's hands quickly. Looks like they're they're playing man coverage. Chiramonte steps up. Going to run. Makes a nice move. Has the first down. He's leveled inside the 20, but he did get the first down after tackled by Madsen. Yeah, nice job by Gio Chiramonte. Nobody opened that time. Clovis North actually fell into a three-deep zone. Chiramonte saw the middle of the field open up, got out of the pocket right away, got vertical quickly, made a nice move at the, at the first down marker to make a guy miss and pick up that first down. Cannon rolling again. Extends the possession. Going to throw the swing pass to the near side. Finnegan. Inside the 20 to about the 18. Well defended that time by, by Clovis North Buchanan. That's just uh, an extension of the run game. We're going to put a guy in motion. We're going to swing it out and put three blockers in front of Finnegan. Hope that he can find a butt to run behind and pick up four or five yards on first down. But a nice job by Clovis North working off of those blocks, not allowing Finnegan to... To, to get any yards after contact. Chiramani keeps it. Spun down at the 15. Let's send it back down to Kevin Miller. Kevin. This student, this student athlete health tip is sponsored by Sang Pediatrics. Find good role models, whether it is a coach, another student, your siblings, or your parents. Have a good role model to help guide you through life's troubles. And you can have more than one, as not one person knows how to do everything. Have a group of people to look up to, and one day, someone will be able to look up to you. Once again, this student athlete health tip is sponsored by Sang Pediatrics. Ralph Cam, back to you. Thank you, Kevin. Back to the action. Time out, though. Take it by Buchanan. So we'll take one as well. 7.06 to go in the second quarter. 7 I think Clovis North with the lead over Buchanan. You're watching. Back everybody camp. We've got seven minutes left to go before halftime. And uh, Buchanan's doing a pretty good job of playing keep away. You know, Clovis North's only had one offensive possession. Yeah, uh, Buchanan, you know, nice sustained drives their first possession. Clovis North goes down, puts seven points on the board. But again, Buchanan doing a really nice job controlling the tempo of this football game. It's better for them if Clovis North does not have the football on offense. And so far, 
17 minutes into the game, Clovis North has touched the ball one time. This is the script that Buchanan would write if they could write the script of this game. Phillips trying the left side. Not much there as we get under seven minutes. Tonight's Smile Cam sponsored by Toyota with more hybrids than any other brand. There's one for everyone. Toyota, let's go places. Oh, you only need one smile yep, for that it. smile cam. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, I thought that was an inside run to set up a fourth and short to try and convert it, but it looks like we can kick in another field goal. Jared Roberts with the attempt, and it is good. So it results in points. And a nice job by Roberts. Hit it high. Yeah, yeah. High and that's that middle of the field. Kind of the perfect spot for a kicker that first field goal, he was on the right hash, and he hooked it just outside the upright. So a nice kick, nice high, no chance of getting it blocked. Points on the board for this Buchanan offense after two really nice, deliberate, sustained drives. They finally put points on the, on the scoreboard. A big thank you to our trophy sponsor, Ace Trophy, in Clovis for all your custom award design needs. You don't see a lot of field goals in high school football games, not, too. No, not, especially not when, you know, when the ball's inside the 20, inside the 15, fourth and short, even college in the NFL now, you know. Oregon went for it twice inside mm -hmm. the red zone when they could have kicked field goals and Washington were able to keep them out of the end zone. Really a difference in the game, but you don't you don't see a lot of those field goals called in those situations. Boy, Robert's showing some leg with the kick carrying into the end zone for the touchback. All right, here's Kevin Miller with tonight's financial wellness tip. Here's Premier Valley Bank with your student financial tip. It isn't too early to start saving for retirement. Really, the power of compounding interest means the sooner you start saving, the longer your money has to grow. If you're earning income from a part-time job, you can use that money to fund a tax advantage individual retirement account, IRA, and start down the path toward lifelong financial stability. This tip was brought to you by Premier Valley Bank, a division of HTLF Bank, and a local partner you can always depend on. HDLF Bank is member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Ralph Cam, back to you. Thank you, Kevin. Clovis North finally gets its second offensive possession and wouldn't be surprised if they keep it till <laughs> till halftime. Yes, I mean, 6.20 left in the, in the first half. They had a nice deliberate drive, their first possession as well. And once again, going back inside zone, running into the short side of the field. Buchanan, they are stacked at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be tough sledding inside the tackles tonight for this Clovis North offense. They do a good job of pulling guys and creating some extra gaps with extra blockers, but Buchanan is ready for this inside run game so far from Clovis North. It does leave Vinny Cordoba singled up outside, and we know how dangerous he is in one-on-one -on -one situations. Cosma hands it off to Sinfell, almost broke away, gets it out to the 30. It should be good for first down. Yeah, nice run, and they're, they're on the ball moving quickly. First and 10, sponsored by Lithia Subaru. Pass over to the near side is incomplete. Or are they going to say that was a lateral? Looks like they're going to put the ball back there. Yeah, I think they called it a catch. Oh, he says it's a catch. Okay. Yeah, that was a little little RPO look inside zone with the receiver screen coming back. Cosma just a little short on that throw. Cordoba came in, actually caught that for a a three-yard loss, but that's a nice wrinkle. It allows them, if the box is stacks and they, and they have a numbers advantage outside, they can get the ball out quickly, just a little short on that throw from Cosma. Well, another effort at that power move by Sinfell up the middle. Right after the game, stay tuned for 
need I say, F Boy Island that's coming up on the CW 59. I have no idea. Cam's going to explain to me after the uh, game. Entertaining show, I'm sure. Third nine passing situation for this Clovis North offense. This is not a position that they're in a lot of downs, usually in front of the chains. Cosmos pass behind the intended receiver, Cordoba. So the Bears defense holds, going to force a punt here. Yeah, just a little behind Cordoba that time. It looked like he tried to put his foot in the ground and just slipped a little bit on that natural grass. It's a big stop for Buchanan. I mean, this is not a Clovis North offense that gets stopped a lot, and they were able to get them behind the chains. A loss on first down, a minimal gain on second down, forced them into an obvious passing situation, and, you know, this is not... That's not where Clovis North really likes to operate from. Well, they might have had something funny up their sleeve there, but the yeah, they, they penalty did flag will stop the play. I, I couldn't tell. Somebody looked like Buchanan jumped off sides. <laughs> False start. So movement caused Buchanan to get in the neutral zone, and then more movement, and then the ball was snapped, and... Don said, yeah, false start on everybody but the center because he didn't snap the football. But, yeah, McKay Matson is the personal protector, so you never know. Punts away. Fair catch by Finnegan at the 45. That's where the Bears will take over. That's Down 7-3. That's a big-time win for Buchanan. Kick the field goal, put points on the board. Kick the ball back to Clovis North and then one first down and you get the ball back for your offense at the 45, their own 45-yard line. Four minutes left in the first half. They could work this clock all the way down. Running play to the near side by Menon. Not much there. Gained... Maybe two. Hey, everybody. We've got James on the H&E scissor lift tonight giving us our aerial footage. Our thanks to H&E Equipment for their help with our equipment rentals for our FNR games. H&E Equipment, where others stop, we continue. How's it up there, James? No, no win tonight, so he's got to be feeling pretty good. Yeah, you're right. He's up there, too. He's, he's, he's high. He's high as that scissor lift, lift will go. Germani rolling to the far side. Tucks it and can't get it away. There's your guy that you focused on earlier. Yeah, Braden Bitter. Braden Bitter, really nice job. We know how he operates in between the tackles. He's a downhill physical inside linebacker, but that time tracking the inside hip of Gio Chiramonte, not allowing the cutback, closing the distance and bringing him down for a loss. That's a big tackle. Now Buchanan's got to throw it on third down. Clovis North, they get a stop, could use a timeout and get the ball back with plenty of time to score. Chiramani Ooh. with the pick pass and the hard hit right after making the catch. Trent Rogers delivered the blow. Yeah, Clovis North with the, the, with the timeout. <laughs> Mike Jacobs, he's upset. He's like, man, I called that timeout as soon as the play was over. I need five more seconds on the clock. Yeah, once Finnegan's going to make the catch and get hit immediately. Trent Rogers just... As soon as he caught that football, Trent Rogers coming downhill. That's the advantage of being a DB. It's third and ten. I know you're throwing the ball. You're probably throwing it around the sticks. If I see you put that foot down, I'm coming downhill to make a tackle. Nice coaching. Nice preparation that time by Trent Rogers, understanding down the distance and situation. Stay tuned for your Xfinity halftime show featuring the Educator Spotlight, sponsored by EECU. And stay tuned during the fourth quarter. We'll reveal our player of the game, sponsored by EECU. Fourth and five from midfield, 244 left. Clovis North used their first time out to stop the clock right here, expecting Buchanan to punt the football. I would expect Buchanan to punt the football as well. 
Looks like they're bringing the offense back on the football field. Well, the defenses for both sides now are kind of locking in. Yeah, this, you know, I'm, I'm curious to see if they actually snap this football or they try to get Clovis North to jump off sides. Yeah. You get him to jump, you got the first down by penalty. Yeah, that's what they're trying to do. I don't think they'll run a play. That used to work a lot more than it does now. Yeah. <laughs> People are catching yeah. on. A fourth and five from midfield. I don't really think you're going to snap this football. And if anybody jumps, we're going to beat you up on the <laughs> sideline after this play. So don't jump. This TV timeout is sponsored by Ventura TV Electronics and Appliances, your low price leader since 1951. Preparation, you know, so much information now. And I, I, I think football players are just smarter than they were in years past because of that information, because of your preparation, understanding down and distance, understanding situational football. You still see some things at the NFL level that makes you scratch your head sometimes. Oregon going for it inside the 10 on fourth and four when they could kick field goals last week. Make you scratch your head, but guys are pretty prepared with situational football these days. Ooh, not a good punt. Cordoba back deep in to receive the punt, but he never got near him. No. Went out of bounds just outside the 35. Is that where they're going to spot it? Oh, yeah, looks like yeah, it. about the 36, 37 yard line. Well, 238 for Clovis North. Plenty of time. Two timeouts still. You know, clock stops, set the change to move on a first down. They, they can run their normal offense. They may have to speed up just a little bit, but plenty of time with two timeouts for them to get down and put some points on the board before the end of this first half. Take the handoff. Going deep Ooh. down the far sideline. Perfectly in stride. Wow. Touchdown. Clovis North. That's Cordova on the receiving end of the bomb. We have seen that before from Vincent Cordova and Mario Cosma. We talked about it earlier in the game. Vincent Cordova is seeing single coverage on the perimeter. You know he can win that matchup. Mario Cosma throws a dime, hits Vincent Cordova perfectly in stride right over the shoulder of Donovan Dunmore who has been really good in cover so far tonight, but you give Vincent Cordova that much time and he is going to get past the defender. Mario Cosma, what a drop in the bucket to his number one receiver. And just like that, this Clovis North big play offense strikes again, 14 to three. That was a lightning strike. Cordova was our academic athlete of the week. He talked to us, to us about how you you mentioned these guys have been playing against each other these guys since first grade and yeah. so he said you basically got the same core of guys on each team here's a look at the drive summary brought to you by eecu not much of a drive there huh <laughs> pretty easy uh lock and load drop back max protect and let your number one receiver just beat a one-on-one -on -one matchup down the football field and vincent cordoba extremely impressive young man 3.97 Uncle is Efren Gazar, who we all know from, yep. from Fres Fresno State days and battling ALS, doing a great job. This comes from a fantastic family. You love to see guys who do everything at a very high level like Vincent Cordoba does, uh, you know, get rewarded with a big-time play like that. And he's a huge weapon for this Clovis North offense, really a vertical threat in the passing game that really changes the dynamic of how you can defend this very physical rushing attack. This is Carvel Wafer on the return out by the 40. I was talking about how these guys have played together in their system from elementary to middle school to high school. Um, and they're just all core buddies. They've been that way all of their, nearly all their lives. Yeah. And so and and you've been playing the same guys, even though they were six or seven years old. Right. Now they're 16 and 17. 
Yeah, but it's you, the same guys against the same guys. You you know your opponent sure. very well. Yeah. You've been playing against them for a long time. You know what they like to do. You know their skill set. You know Vincent Cordova can run. <laughs> so you know it's going to be a task if you're singled up on him. And so far, Clovis North has used that a little bit to their advantage in the first half. Okay, Buchanan with a couple minutes left before halftime, trying to get some more points on the board. Yeah, zone read that time by Cheravante keeps it. Picks up about five on first down. They're going to have to speed up their operation a little bit. Two minutes. They do have a timeout left, but you know, if they want to put some points on the board, they are going to have to speed it up just a little bit. Oh. Wow, that ball. I think McKay Masson ripped that ball out, but right back into the hands of Carvel Wafer. And Wafer ended up with a first down out of it. First and 10, sponsored by Lithia Subaru. Ball is at the 49 yard line. Yeah, clock, clock running a minute 40. Clock moving, chains get set. They're going to have to start putting the ball in the air at some point. Minute 30 now on the clock. Germani keeps it. Oh, that just looks like a horse collar. Down around the 44 yard line. Did reach in there from behind. Yeah, there's a flag. That took triple option look again that time. Chiramonte on the mesh, decides to keep it, doesn't pitch it. Looked like uh, Sinfeld grabbed, grabbed the back of his jersey and pulled him down for a horse collar. Flag on the play, brought to you by Fresno Suit Outlet. We couldn't hear him, but he said horse collar. Or at least he. And the penalty takes it inside the 20, inside the 30, that is. The Roy Williams penalty, that's what I call it, because he's pull guys down from behind like that when it was legal, and then they said, nah, you can't do that anymore because Terrell Owens broke his leg, and you can't let that happen. He retrieved the snap on a hop. Now, Chiramani still got it down the sideline. Quick work. Out about the 22. Quick work by a guy, Marty Bitter, on the chains. Almost got ran over, dropped that stick down. Nice job by Chiramonte. Couldn't handle the snap. Was able to stay cool, pick it up, get to the sideline, stop the clock, pick up some positive yardage. Aided by that 15-yard penalty. And Buchanan is in scoring range already. Empty backfield. Just going to throw. Pass is complete. Boy, a nice reversal. On the sideline, catch was made by McKay Lund. Then a nice evasive move right after that catch. Yeah, nice job. Not only catch, catching that ball, making a couple guys miss, get, picking up a first down and getting out of bounds, stopping the clock, keeping keeping time on the clock for this Buchanan offense. First and goal now. Ball's on the seven with 104 to go. Give it to the motion man. Coming to the near side. Spun out of bounds inside the five. That's Finnegan. Stopping the clock. 58 seconds. I think the ball came out again. McKay Madsen once again making a tackle but punching the football out. Luckily for Buchanan, Finnegan was out of bounds or just about out of bounds when that ball came out. But McKay Madsen, the second play on this drive, ripping the football or knocking the football out of the hands of a Buchanan runner. Gain a three to the four yard line. Second and goal from there. Chiramani might just do it himself. Well, another bad snap he's gonna have to handle and he may have to do it himself. Evades one defender, throws to the end zone, batted down and incomplete Cordoba on the defensive play. Wow, what a, what a play by Chiramonte just to get that football off. He once again, couldn't handle the snap. Had some trouble picking it up. Tried to get outside, tried to run. Nice job by Clovis North not allowing him outside the pocket and then put his foot in the ground and threw a bullet. But Vincent Cordoba step for step with Finnegan in the back of the end zone. Really nice job. Not making contact before the ball arrived. Reaching that hand straight out and knocking the football down, setting up a third and goal. In the Toyota red zone, knocking on the door.
Tremonti kept it instead of pitching it, and Bitter came over to punish him at the end. Man, no, not a triple option that time, but actually a lead option, a lead speed option. So Chiramonte had a blocker in front of him, had the pitch guy available if he wanted it. A really nice job again by Braden Bitter, tracking the inside hip of the ball carrier and then accelerating at the point of contact, not giving Chiramonte a cutback lane to get back inside and try to pick up some more yards. This TV timeout is sponsored by Ventura TV, electronics and appliances, your low price leader since 1951. So fourth and five, 41 seconds left. Buchanan down 14 to three. We've seen twice so far in this game inside the red zone on the fourth and this type of a situation, fourth and five, kick the field goal. I don't think field goals are going to get it done tonight against this Clovis North Austin offense. They're just... A little bit too explosive. They can control the tempo. They did do a nice job on the ground. I, I am guessing that the Buchanan's going to try and put this one into the end zone. They know Clovis North gets the ball coming out to start the second half. You know, you go down 14 6, a one possession game, but you know Clovis North gets the football. You know, we'll see. I like to keep the ball in the hands of your quarterback, Chiramonte. Give him a blocker in front of him run some maybe two-man routes, give him the option to throw it or keep it in the run game. They've had success running that triple option look as well out of this kind of three-man backfield. So we'll no see field what the call goal. is. They're going for the touchdown. Termona hands it off inside and nothing there. Finnegan always still pushing that pile, but it's going to be a stop and a turnover on downs for that... Clovis North defense. Yeah, they ran that triple option again, this time for the first time. Chiramonte gives it to Finnegan on the dive play, but Clovis North just too stout in the middle of that defense. Again, we've seen it all night long. They've really controlled in between the tackles and another stop this time on fourth down to keep Buchanan out of the end zone. Clovis North, two timeouts. Maybe they run a stream. Maybe they run a draw. See if they can pick up a big chunk on this first down play and then start to use some tempo. Only 35 seconds left, so you have to move quickly whatever you do. Looks like they may just take Don't a Don't make though. a mistake. 14-3 lead is good enough for them. Well, he didn't really take a knee. He kind of... He's trying. Tried to stay <laughs> up. Uh, not sure what that was. Tonight's second quarter has been brought to you by Sang Pediatrics. Broncos looks like they'll just let these final seconds tick off. Not a lot of possessions in that first half, Ralph. No, nope. I, I don't see it changing in the second half either. Clovis North going to the locker room for halftime with a 14 to three lead. You're watching Les Schwab Tires Friday Night Rivals. I think you're talking about where it was on the side. It wasn't. Oh. I didn't see two in the back. I saw one. The halftime show sponsored by Xfinity. Supercharge your home with supersonic Wi-Fi for an incredibly fast and powerful connection only from Xfinity. And here, as always, to take us through halftime, the great Kevin Noll. Oh, I'm just going to be right there. Ralph, it is now time for the Xfinity Halftime Report and the Vince Wesson Scholar Athlete brought to you by Wendy's Breakfast. The three-buck Biggie Bundles, a perfect pair. And we are here right now with number two, you recognize him, don't you? Because, of course, that last touchdown was incredible. Senior from Clovis North, Vincent Cordoba. Vincent, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for being here. I know you're tired. I mean, you got a big stop there on defense. I mean, you're all over the place. Fantastic. Obviously, with football, you play football. You do another sport as well at Clovis North. Yes, sir. Track and field. All right. And then what are your events in track and field? 
Uh, long jump, 100, 200, and the 4x100 relay. All right. You guys are pretty quick in the 4x1, yeah? Didn't you make it to the state finals? I did, sir. My sophomore year. All right. There's no surprise why Vincent was streaking down the sideline with that big grab of being untouched. That's fantastic. So, Vincent, one thing about our Vince Wesson Scholar Athlete is that we appreciate how you're involved in co-curricular activities. What are some of the things you're involved in at Clovis North? Well, uh, first and foremost, uh, my sister is the vice president of the Mental Health Awareness Club, oh, yeah. which was founded by my older sister, Taylor. Oh, wow. And so um, I'm a big part of that. I'm a member. I like, to, I like to attend the meetings when I can. So that's something I like to do in school. And then outside of school, I like to help with my youth football programs, whether it be Stan P here in Clovis or Kerman, out in, yeah. Kerman Youth Football out in Kerman. Indeed. The Cordoba family, a family affair as they give back to their community and the Clovis North student body. And then, Vincent, I mean, big plans probably for next year as a senior. Can you share with us just a little bit about what you're thinking about for next year? Well, I take a, vi I take a visit at University of San Diego tomorrow. And All the right. following weekend, I'm taking my official visit at West Point. So after, after those visits, I should have a good idea. All right. So when we cover them again, maybe we can find out a little bit more. Yeah? Yes, sir. All right. Well, hey, Vincent, we want to get you back to your guys. Yes, but you now go into the running for a $5,000 scholarship, courtesy of that Wendy's breakfast. Sounds pretty good, right? Sounds pretty good. Scholarship and the breakfast. Man, this guy is working great. hard. Hardest worker right out there on the field. We want to congratulate Vincent Cordoba, our Vince Wesson Scholar Athlete from Clovis North High School. And we're going to be back with more Xfinity Halftime Report right after this. Welcome back to the Xfinity Halftime Report for our Principal Spotlight brought to you by EECU. We're here with Buchanan Principal Omar Hamidin and Clovis North Principal Dr. Joshua Shapiro. How are you guys doing tonight? Everybody good? Yeah, yeah, it's a good game. Now, Omar, so many things are happening on the Buchanan campus. You're well into your semester. What's going down on the campus? You know, a lot of great things happening at Buchanan. Uh, we're coming up to our Red Ribbon Week this week. We have dress-up days each and every day. Staff is excited. Students are excited. Um, again, it's, it's fantastic to be at Buchanan. Dub Bears and Bear Nation. We appreciate that. And then, uh, Dr. Shapiro, it's like we were here yesterday, but that was back in August. We're thinking about what's going to happen this year, but there's a lot of things upcoming with the Clovis North Broncos, a.k.a. the Stampede. Yeah, there's a lot going on the Stampede. Uh, like... Buchanan Red Ribbon Week is coming up next uh, this upcoming week. We also have Unity Week coming. That's going to be November 13th through the 17th, and we'll have a, a Unity uh, show called Inspire, which will be on Wednesdays and Thursdays. Uh, we have our band championships coming up, the WBA Championship, which is going to be November 18th and 19th. Also, we have our first play of the year called Songs for a New World, which will start on November 30th. So we're really excited about that and just looking forward to a great end of the first semester. There we go. Well, you can tell both schools have so much going on and really bringing their campuses and their community together. We appreciate Mr. Hamiden, Dr. Shapiro joining us on our Principal Spotlight brought to you by ECU. And we're going to be back with more Xfinity Halftime Report right after this. The Xfinity Halftime Report. And, of course, one thing that we love about Central Valley High School football games is the halftime performances. And you could see behind us as we talked to Principal Omar Hamidin and Principal Dr. Joshua Shapiro from Clovis North that the Buchanan Band and Color Guard was performing. Well, now it's the host school. It's their chance. Clovis North Band, the Color Guard, they are about to perform. You heard Dr. Shapiro talk about their upcoming performance and their competition and both bands are renowned throughout the state, throughout the nation. And so we're going to get a chance right now, of course, to witness that in action. It's one of those rare opportunities that we have here on Friday Night Rivals to have a chance just to soak in the atmosphere, which is what we love about these Friday Night football games. Uh, this band from Clovis North last year was recently in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, yes, in New York City. Just what an accomplishment, what an accolade, what an opportunity for these students, for their families, and for our community here at Clovis North. So as we take a look, of course, we're going to have more Funtivities coming up. We've got our Les, Les Schwab Tire Relay Roll Challenge in just a moment, but we want to allow these Clovis North Broncos a chance to perform so that we can indeed enjoy all of the atmosphere that is a high school football game on Friday Night Rivals. Take a look. Kind of getting warmed up.
one great thing about this Clovis North community is that often the football team will be a will be an audience, a positive crowd for the band as they perform because after all, the band Color Guard, they are in the stands playing throughout the football game and they are witnessing the football players do their thing and lead in the valley. And so, of course, our football players want to return the favor. It's a great close-knit community at Clovis North. So let's take a look real quick here. Take a moment as they start to crescendo, get warmed up. It's a performance. It's an interpretation. And it is an experience. the coordination amongst all the groups, the athleticism, the abilities of this visual and performing arts organization all coming together for this performance. It's something spectacular. Friday Night Rivals family, we're going to be back with more Xfinity Halftime Report right after this with this musical interlude. Welcome back to the Xfinity Halftime Report. Of course, this is our feature with our Les Schwab partners. And in just a moment, we're going to have our cheer challenge tire roll the Clovis North Marching Band and Color Guard are still performing. So it's a bit of a reprieve, a bit of a pause as they finish up and they crescendo. But as we walk over here and we think about how Les Schwab has been a vital partner and a part of our community, not just about tires, but about the safety of our community and the investment in our community. That's why you find Les Schwab involved in toy drives, youth groups, the Big Fresno Fair and other fairs in the Central Valley. They want to make sure they are invested in our community. Also, please visit any one of the 21 locations for Les Schwab because Les Schwab doing what's right matters. And in a moment, what matters is we're going to find out. Come on over here. This is you know, some rare. We get a chance to kind of peek into the brains, the prowess, the cheer challenge preparation. Ladies, how are we feeling going into the cheer challenge brought to you by Les Schwab? We're feeling fantastic. We're ready to go. We're confident. We've, I think we've got it. Yes. Now, uh, you have participated, at least your team has participated once before back in August. Were we victorious? Okay, so we feel like we've got an advantage, yes? Okay, well, stretch out. I know you're well prepared. No pulling of hammies or anything like that. Proper rotation and balance of these tires. They are red to go. Stampede running down that lane. But then, of course, of course, not to be outthought or underrepresented. We've got the Bears of Buchanan. They're excited. That's what they do, the enthusiasm. So your first time this season anyway doing the Les Schwab cheer challenge, tire roll. You've got 50 yards in front of you. What's going to be the strategy going in? We can't tell our okay. secrets. No, we can't. We can't. Oh, we can't. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 So we have the fastest person in the back. And then we have the we strongest, strongest people, people on the side. And no we're gonna, we can't put our hands on the side. Yeah. And the strategy is to not touch the tire when you're rolling. The I side see. people. Because it'll, the inertia. it'll throw the balance off. Something if, science will take yeah, it and carry it. If the side people are touching the tires too much, it'll wobble. Gotcha. So. Oh. And it's properly been balanced, though, by Les Schwab. So you have a good tire there, rest assured. But uh, 
I sense that kind of like with your cheer pyramid, the way in which you're constructing this arrangement is going to be the right strategy to get you the dub. All right. Well, again, stretch out. Do some toe touchies if you need to. Oh, my gosh. I think I pulled a hammy. My goodness. So here it is. 50 yards. 50 yards. We're taking our way. We're making our way down here. We're going to walk behind our color guard, behind the Clovis North marching band as they perform in anticipation of what could be one of the finest Les Schwab cheer challenges to date. Great crowd on hand. Uh, still, everybody's packed in here watching this performance. You've got the football game that's competitive, and of course, you've got this entertainment that is really second to none. So, we're going to make our way over to the 50. As and Let's come over here a little bit as we stay out of their way. Yes, indeed. And of course, with our big Fresno Fair, Les Schwab participating in 4-H and livestock, those clubs, those students being involved in what they love to do and what they're so good at doing. It's just really, we greatly appreciate all that Les Schwab does to promote this community atmosphere here in the Central Valley, of course, in the state, in the nation. And so take a look at what we're eyeballing here, everybody, in terms of what that distance is going to look like. Look, we've got a young lad on a horse. He might run. He might be the pacer. He might set the pace. I'll tell you what, we've got a group over at the start finish line. They're going to be our third quarter push-up crew. We might have the most in FNR history to perform in the push-up crew. You can hear the crescendo, the crowd, the Clovis North Marching Band and Color Guard. They have concluded their performance. They're hustling off. Great job. Fantastic. Way to go. E-flat alto saxophone. I played that sixth grade, seventh grade, and eighth grade, and then I uh, pulled a flat toy and then had to quit the game. But anyway, so now we are ready, ladies and gentlemen, for the cheer challenge. And I'm looking at where we are smack dab in the middle at the 50. We've got Buchanan. Will it be the Bears? We've got the Broncos. Will it be Clovis North? Are we ready? Are we ready? Go! Oh, they're off. Buchanan have the right strategy. They're following through. And their cheer group is pacing them. They're letting it flow. It's to the wire, and it's going to be the Bears. Oh, my goodness. Have you witnessed? Oh, my gosh. It's pandemonium over here. The strategy. Oh, my gosh. My right eye will orbit. The strategy. Congratulations to the Bears. This could be a sign of something that's going to happen in the second half for Buchanan High School. Thanks to you. Welcome back, everybody, from halftime. Tonight's third quarter is sponsored by Own a Car, home of the $500 down sales event. 14 to 3, Clovis North with the lead over Buchanan. Possessions were at a premium in the first half, that's for sure. They were, and, and Clovis, get, Clovis North gets the ball coming out, start the second half. A one play possession, <laughs> the only quick possession of the game, that one play bomb from Cosma to Vinny Cordoba. But you totally expect Clovis North to get back to what their DNA is. Control the tempo. Use the ground game, then some play action pass after they establish some run. Two possession lead starting off the second half. They'd like to take six or seven minutes off the clock and put seven more up on the up on the board.
quite an elaborate halftime put on by Clovis North. Yeah, that was a impressive band performance for sure. Buchanan's played a good football game though. You know, they're down 14-3, but you know, missed a field goal, got stopped on a fourth and goal, but they've been able to move the football consistently tonight, kind of with varying ways. Gio Chiramonte allowing him to make decisions in the run game. They have run some power football. They've been able to attack the leverage of this Clovis North defense, get outside and create some, some space and some positive yardage. Carvel wait for the freshman playing a nice football game getting more carries they just have to continue and then when they get into the red zone it's always the most difficult area of the field because everything shrinks right you have to make decisions so much quicker they just have to figure out a way to put some put some of those balls in the end zone against the Clovis North defense has done a nice job in the red zone tonight yeah there are college football teams and NFL teams that have trouble converting in the red zone Sinfell on the return 2025 20, 30 and wrestled out of bounds close to the 40. Big return by Jackson Sinfeld to start the second half. Yeah, such a nice weapon back there. A really physical runner of the football, but you see it when he gets some space. He does have some acceleration and he can get to the perimeter and really, really hurt a defense or that time the kick return team for Buchanan. And he's right back out there in the huddle for this Clovis North offense to start the second half. Sinfell with a nice move to the inside all the way down to the 45. That'll be a first and 10. First and 10 sponsored by K1 Speed, arrive and drive. Yeah, just a little power, pulling, pulling a guy around. Putting a blocker in front of Simfell. Simfell, really nice cut back to make a guy miss and pick up about 10 extra yards. Man, he he is very quick when he puts that foot in the ground, getting downhill. Simfell again breaks out of one ankle tackle, and his momentum will be stopped. Push back. Now he gets a break, and what a luxury for Clovis North. You, Simfell. Nice return on the kickoff return, then picks up a first down, battles for yards on that one, and then boom, you take him out, get him a breather, put McKay Madsen in, who's just as physical, can accelerate just the same, is a, is a, is a nice change of pace back, a little bit bigger, a little bit tougher, but man, two, a two-headed monster in the backfield for Clovis North. The pitch to Madsen, 40-35. Inside the 30, dragged down at about the 28. Another first and 10, sponsored by K1 Speed, arrive and drive. Just really owning the line of scrimmage right now, pulling guys around, getting blockers in front. Preston Fletcher doing a fantastic job. David Boyajan as well. Yeah, we're watching him, number 71. Gus Gomez twice pulled and, and really didn't block anybody because there was nobody to block. There was so much space. The running backs caught up to him before he was able to block anybody. Pitch to the near side. Matson with a stop and go. Gets out close to the 20. TV timeout is sponsored. Oh, sorry, it's wrong. It's single J. I need JJ right after the game. Stay tuned for... F Boy, F -Boy Island. Island. Family favorite. CW Family favorite. Well, we've seen Get some adjustment. Ready, huh? <laughs> we've seen some adjustment from the Clovis North. Attacking the perimeter of this Buchanan defense. And they've had really nice success early in the second half and inserted Brayden Bitter into the lineup on offense, it looked like, in a couple of these runs, adding some physicality to at the line of scrimmage. The right tackle for Clovis North, David Boyajan. Number 71, 6'7", about 300 pounds. Lost about 30 pounds or yeah, so. And can move. He's not just a big body. He can move. And he is. He's moving to Washington, University of Washington, right? 
Isn't that what his, his yeah. intention is? Yeah. I don't know. He can maybe maybe he can reconsider and right. stick around. Although you watched that game last week, Washington and Oregon, and you have the opportunity to play in that environment, I, I really don't know how you yeah. pass that one up. But, yeah, big big body, but, but he can move. Broncos are now in the Toyota red zone with a first and 10, sponsored by K1 Speed. From the 19, oh, Sinfield man. bounces it to the outside, now cuts it back in. Taken down as he gets to the 10, game of nine. Yeah, just the, the left side of this Clovis North offensive line. Braden Bitter, Preston Fletcher, again, just collapsing the right side of that Buchanan defensive line. And Sinfels is not touched until he's eight or nine yards in the defensive backfield. Injured player on the field. We were talking in the first game, first game of the season. Uh, about the strength and the power of this Clovis North team. It's only gotten stronger, it seems. We'll talk more about that when we come back. 8.07 to go in the third quarter. It's a 14-3 lead for Clovis North. We are back, third quarter, 8.07 to go. Clovis North with the ball. Second down at about nine. On second and one, looking at the wrong side. Oh my God! Sinfeld going to get the first down and more touchdown. Clovis North. I thought you said it was the left side. It was, <laughs> it was the left. So it was the left side. <laughs> then they flipped him over to the right side, and then it was the right side. Just wow. wherever, wherever they move, Braden Bitter, Levi Spriggs, as the extra blockers, they are just co totally collapsing the defensive front of Buchanan on either side. Then they're pulling two guys around from the backside to kick out, and there is just a huge crease in that Buchanan defense, and Jackson Sinfeld is really the beneficiary of some fantastic blocking up front from this Clovis North offensive line and tight ends and wing backs. That was a statement drive. They came out, got the ball to start the second half. We are going to run smash mouth football. We're going to put Braden Bitter in as a wing back, and he's going to team up with our big tackles, and we are just going to smash down the football field exactly what they did. Touchdown is sponsored by Porta Subs, your neighborhood sandwich shop. And the drive summary brought to you by EECU. Did most of it on the ground. Just a whole bunch of guys out in space with not a lot of defenders around them. I mean, everybody on that Clovis North offensive team, whether it's offensive linemen, tight ends, receivers, Vinny Cordoba also with blocks on the perimeter. That was, hey, guess what? We're going to come out the second half and we're going to show everybody watching this game tonight what we are about. We are going to strap it up and punch you in the mouth and you're not going to be able to stop it. And that is exactly what they did all the way down the football field and that what time. Been, what they've been doing all the way through this football season. Yeah, I mean, from, just from game one yeah. when we saw them do this and uh, really kind of stamp their signature as a physical football team yeah I don't, I don't think Mike Jacob was too happy being up 14-3 you know allowing Buchanan some red zone possessions he wanted to come out and make a statement to start the second half Wafer on the return run out of bounds short of the 30 we'll send it back downstairs to Kevin Miller Friday Night Rivals is powered by the United States Army. I am here with Lieutenant Hess and Sergeant Yarnell. Sergeant, what inspired you to enlist in the United States Army? It's always been a lifelong passion to be an American soldier and to serve the people of this great nation and also to give back to it. Fantastic. Appreciate your service so much. And then what we also appreciate is what's about to go down tonight. What's going down? We're about to have a push-up challenge. Are you ready for this? Yeah. All right. Get up and space out. Space out. Space out. I need a little room, too. I haven't worked out in like three weeks, all right? You got this, Braden, Logan? All right. It's wilding right now. Let's go. Let's go. Get down. Yeah, let's go. All right. We ready? Two minutes. Two minutes. Space out. All right. All right. We're about to start this action. Yep. 
We got to start it. Oh, so we're off for two minutes. I'm going to join in, rest assured. But they're going to go for two straight minutes. Whoever has the most in two minutes is going to be victorious. Already we got guys in the back that are bowing out. We've got a crowd that's cheering on. The United States Army. Lieutenant Hess has already done 46, 47, and counting. All right, I'm going to join in too. So Ralph Cam. I've been well rested. U.S. Army and Friday Night Rivals. These guys are quitting. We'll keep going all night long. Now hand back to you. Thank you, Kevin. The Bears just picked up first and ten. Sponsored by K1 Speed, Arrive and Drive. Kevin got to get those hips up. Can't let those hips sag. That's not a good. And the push knees up. down. Yeah, you got to get those get those, <laughs> those hips up. Keep that stomach flat. Right into the teeth of that defense. Finnegan is pushed back. No gain, second and ten. Yeah, 21 to 3, not really where Buchanan wants to be offensively. They want to control tempo. They want to use the running game to sustain drives, much like we saw in the first half. I mean, that was textbook Buchanan Bear offense. They just didn't get the ball in the end zone. Now down 21 to 3. They have to change their approach a little bit. They do have to open it up a little bit. They haven't done that so far, but, you know, they're going to eventually run out of time if they just continue to run the football because Clovis North is doing a good job defensively. I mean, it's tough sledding three, four yards at a chunk for Buchanan to try to move the sticks. And then one, you know, no game play on first down, you pick up three on second. Now you're looking at third and seven. Probably going to have to put the ball up in the air with a quarterback starting only his second game of the season. Need to get to the 50 for a first down. Sherman is going to take off. Has the first down. It's inside the 45-yard line. So that's a first and 10. Sponsored by K1 Speed Arrive and Drive. Or you can just do that, drop back, and <laughs> I don't know if that was a design quarterback draw or if that was a pass. And Cheramonte, if he sees a gap in the, those rush lanes from Clovis North, he is hitting it right now. And again, the second time tonight, we've seen him convert on a passing play when he gets out of the pocket and picks up a first down with his legs. He can be elusive this time he hands it off to Menahal. Gain of five, gain of six, actually. Yeah, using a little bit of tempo. Try to speed things up just a bit. Ooh. Tried to put his nose in there where, where Bitter lives. Got yeah. hit, taken down. It's physical football out there tonight. Braden Bitter, we've talked about him all night long. Just when you're running in between the tackles, Number eight is going to be there at the point of attack, and he's probably going to bring a little bit more than you can bring, but sets up a, a third and one for Buchanan to try to keep this offense again on the football field. Got the first down. That's Logan Phillips. Runs out of bounds. Little yeah. Spot him uh, outside the 30. Nice block that time by Freddie Gallardo on the perimeter. Was able to pin McKay Madsen inside, which allowed Logan Phillips to get to the perimeter with enough space to move the chains for a first down. Clogged up on the inside, but a nice job by Gallardo creating some space on the edge. Phillips again runs out of a tackle and then out of bounds inside the 25. Yeah, this is Here's Kevin Miller with tonight's financial wellness tip. That's right. Here's Premier Valley Bank with your student financial tip. It isn't too early to start saving for retirement. 
Really? The power of compounding interest means the sooner you start saving, the longer your money has to grow. If you're earning income from a part-time job, you can use that money to fund a tax-advantaged individual retirement account, IRA, and start down the path toward lifelong financial stability. This tip was brought to you by Premier Valley Bank, a division of HTLF Bank, and a local partner you can always depend on. HTLF Bank is member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Ralph Cam, back to you. Buchanan with the fumble, but fortunately for Chiramati, he was able to fall back on it, maintain possession, but a loss back to the 25. And another positive drive from this Buchanan offense, mostly on the ground. You just have to, they have to get one in the end zone. Phillips turned it in, looked like there was some room outside. And a big change of personnel for Buchanan, taking some big bodies out, putting some receivers in the game. Like going three three wide receivers for one of the first times tonight. And if you're Clovis North, you have to make sure you have eyes on number four. If number four gets a gap, gets a seam, he's going to try and pick it up with his legs. Chiramani looking. Now he's going to run and nowhere to go. Brandon to Ross Sinfels. Nice job by Sinfels that time. He was the leverage guy. He was the outside force player. Did not allow Chiramonte to reach the edge. He held that, kept that outside arm free, forced Chiramonte back inside, and then worked off the block and was able to take Chiramonte down for a slight loss. And we'll, we'll see fourth and... 15 what Buchanan wants to do you're down 18 points 230 left that was a long drive not sure how many more possessions you're going to get in this football game so probably a must go situation for this Buchanan offense fourth and 14 Chermani throws, intercepted inside the 10, returned out to the 25-30, and run out of bounds there. Wow, looks like there's a flag. And a little... Cannon Parks had the interception in return. Yeah, and I, 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 don't, I didn't see it. I thought it was good coverage from Vinny Cordoba. And flag Park, is way down at the 7 where he Park, got the ball. Parks oh, stepped right in front of that post. I mean, there was no advantage by the receiver that I saw, but that flag came out as soon as Parks picked that one off, and it looks like either pass interference or a holding call on Vinny Cordoba. I I did not see anything like that, but that official was right there and dropped the flag. So. And you can see the Broncos are retreating, so it looks like it's against Clovis North. Man, that's, that's tough, because that... Kana Parks was picking that one off regardless of Vinny Cordoba held or not because he was just waiting for that ball as the post safety to be thrown and he stepped right in front of that one and made a really nice play just a sophomore to pass interference ball half the distance to the goal still fourth down well that's at least a better rule than like the NFL five yard holding penalty on the defense is an automatic first down, even if it's like third and 20. So, half the distance, still fourth down. I, I have we haven't seen a replay, would love to see a replay on, on that penalty because I did not see much. Vinny Cordoba was playing off coverage. It looks like we're getting a replay right here, see if we can see anything down the field. I mean, at it's the end, be Cordoba yeah, at the end, the yeah, at the end, maybe he was falling, but that that ball was going the other way. Oh, a little, a little pop on the sideline from the quarterback, too. That's what, that's what the little fracas was about. Fourth and two, Gio Cermonte probably will keep this football. And he will. He might not have the first down. It's going to be very close. One side says yes. The other side, I don't know. It's close. I think he's short. Yeah, he's short. 
tonight's smile cam sponsored by Toyota with more hybrids than any other brand. There's one for everyone. Toyota, let's go places. <laughs> That's some great smiles tonight yeah. on the smile cam. Once again, red zone possession for Buchanan and they don't come away with any points. It was a must go situation. You need touchdowns, you're down three possessions. Another stand in the red zone for this Clovis North defense. Sinfell off the left side, dragging a tackler. First guy can't bring him down, takes reinforcements. That'll be a first and 10. Sponsored by K1 Speed, arrive and drive. I mean, he just hits the hole so quickly. When he gets any sort of seam, he is moving downhill immediately. And that force is so hard to grab onto a guy moving with that pace, especially inside the tackle box when there's bodies around. He's such a weapon. Fans, stay tuned. During the fourth quarter, we'll reveal our player of the game. Sponsored by EECU. Sin fell to the near side. Cuts behind a blocker. Down the field, across midfield, run out of bounds. Close to the 40. Another big game by Sinfell. Another first and 10, sponsored by K1 Speed. Once again, tight end wing set on the right side, collapsing the left side of that Buchanan defensive line down. And then pullers coming from the back side to lead block to kick out for Jackson Simfels to get a crease. He hits the crease and then bounces outside, uses his speed to get into Buchanan territory. And Clovis North has come out with a different attitude on offense in this second half. Yeah, it's been Sinfeld dominating on the ground. Matson in the backfield now, McKay Matson. He'll get the handoff. Splits a couple of defenders, takes it down inside the 35 to about the 34. Hey, be sure to join us for our next telecast. That'll be one week from tonight. The Badera Coyotes against the Garza Guardians. That's at 7 p.m. right here on the CW59. Should be a good one. Should be a good one. The Coyotes got San Joaquin Memorial a couple weeks ago. Justin Garza playing good football as well. Yosef Ferris, former Madera head coach against Kenny Palinelli, current Madera head coach. So it should be a good one. These two, two teams that know each other pretty well. They're always good when the red light goes on. That's true. When the TV shows up. <laughs> That's true. A different, different energy, different emotion in the games when they know the the lights are on and the cameras are on. Second and one could be take a shot. I, I don't I don't see Clovis North taking a shot here, but quickly to the line. The pitch sin fell. Oh, stopped. Nice job. It looked like he may have been able to bounce that one outside, but a nice job by Buchanan. Hey, tonight's third quarter is sponsored by Own a Car, home of the $500 down sales event. Sinfell's making friends with the white hat. Always a, always a good strategy. That's a good idea. Yeah, always a good strategy. <laughs> Isn't it, Don? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've played three, and it's the Broncos with a 21-3 lead over the Bears of Buchanan. We'll come back for the fourth. Welcome back, everybody. Getting ready to start the fourth quarter. The unbeaten Clovis North Broncos with a 21-3 lead over Buchanan. Yeah, Clovis North, eighth in the state. They've been as high as sixth in the state. Number two team in Northern California behind Sarah up in San Mateo. Tom Brady's alma mater. We could see a Clovis North De La Salle type of a matchup in the 1AA Northern California playoffs if Clovis North keeps rolling the way they have been. And the fourth quarter sponsored by Fresno Mazda. Yeah, trying to get to 9-0 overall with a win tonight. 
4-0 in the track. Yeah, a couple of nice stops. The last two plays for Buchanan. It looked like both of those, if the running back bounces outside, there's some space for them to hit. Fourth and two. Just outside the 35, it looks like Clovis North keeping the offense on the field. Cosma dumps off the pass. Big hit, nice catch by Levi Springs. Yeah, I think they're they acting I, like the, like the ball was fumbled and Buchanan has it. I think Buchanan thought they had stopped him short, but that was right on the marker. We'll see. He was hit right after he caught the ball. It looked like he got to yeah, it looked like he got to the 33. I think that's a good spot. Nice play call, Vince Branstetter, the bootleg on fourth and short. And Cosma, nice job just making sure that was a completion and Spriggs holding on to it and picking up that first down. Now they're going to be a little deliberate with their operation. Yeah, why not? You got the 21 to 3 lead. This is Madsen. Cuts it back inside the 30 down to the 25 yard line. He's about two yards short of the first down. Bodies strewn everywhere when McKay Matson runs the ball. I mean, Clovis North, North still getting pushed. McKay Matson is so good at just being a little bit slippery, right? He's not not running guys over, not making a miss in space, but just slipping and sliding off of off of tackles. That's a, a very rare quality for a running back who's just a junior. Just have the feel for sliding off the tackles the way McCad McKay Madsen does. It's been, he's very impressive running the football. Second and short. Oh my goodness. A big hole over the right side for Madsen. Gets inside the 15. Down to about the 14. Tonight's mountain guard moment is sponsored by Donald Anderson. DDS. And there it is. Yeah, Trent Rogers with the big time hit on third down. A mouth guard moment. Unfortunately, everybody has their mouth guard in. Fortunately, that last that last run, Davi Boyage and just pancakes. Buchanan defensive lineman and McKay Matson just running scot free to move the chains. Fun to sit here next to you because you see it happen almost before everyone else does. Madsen doing a lot of the work himself on that run. Short game. Putting in work tonight. Finally gets a breather. They're in the Toyota red zone. Broncos threatening to add to the 21 to 3 lead. Buchanan still fight, still playing hard. You know, just out, up against a, a well-oiled machine tonight. Clovis North, North offensively. Cosmo looking over the defense. He's got Sinfell in there behind him. And may have a delay. Yep, ju I mean, he was... He was looking at the back judge. He was counting it down. He just Mar ball. Mario Cosmo. Hey, offense, five yards, second down. Just didn't get that snap off quick enough. But they're doing a good. I mean, they're doing a good job. This is what you want to do? Four minute offense. You're up three possessions. Eight minutes left in the fourth quarter. You want to take as much of the play cock as you possibly can. You just can't get caught with a delay of game in a situation like that. And that flag on the play is brought to you by Fresno Suit Outlet, home in the three suit deal. Cosmo with the handoff, and Sinfell will be thrown back. Oh. And here comes another flag on the play brought to you by Fresno Suit Outlet. Yeah, I don't. Don, you got to help me out because I, Josh, I, Josh I think, Wilson I think like that was just a clean play and he continued the tackle to the ground. I don't think there was anything malicious. Yeah, I would agree. It was just a continuation play. I don't think there was any 
any major harm. Uh, he was just making a tackle. Unfortunate. If that's the quarterback, I could see that because you're protecting. <laughs> I mean, you're protecting the quarterback. You, you can't land on the quarterback, but I, that, that I just I didn't see that as a penalty at all. Well, the way you kind of threw him down, I guess that's it, right? Yeah. After I mean, this the play, the whistle dead. You know, it was right at the whistle. I don't think it was. It was that late. No. You know, just just kind of finishing a play. I don't know if there was intention there either. Kind of looked like no, he stumbled. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think it was purposeful at all. Jackson Sinfell is not a guy that's easy to tackle. So you want to make sure that that tackle is secured. He's on the ground. I can't blame a player for finishing a play like that. Unfortunate that that led to a half the distance to the goal penalty. But not a first down. It's still second down. The pitch to Sinfell to the near side, and he makes a juke. And into the end zone for the touchdown. Really nice patience that time from Jackson Sinfels. We've seen a couple carries where he really tries to put that foot in the ground and get vertical, and there's not a lot of space for him to hit. That time he allowed those blocks to progress, continued to work the ball outside, and, and was able to accelerate and get to the edge and put, put that one into the end zone. Just Touchdown is sponsored by Porta Subs, your neighborhood sandwich shop. Just another textbook Clovis North Drive dominating the line of scrimmage, getting blockers in front of running backs. And then Jackson Simfeld, McKay Matson, two headed monster again getting into the end zone. Johnson adds the extra point, and the lead is extended to 28 to 3. Here's another look. Just pullers out in front, and, and Simfeld's doing a nice job, almost setting up. That last move, we're acting like he was getting vertical, then bounced it outside, got to the end zone. Breaks a tackle, and he is gone. 28 to 3. Columbus North leading Buchanan. We'll be back with more on West Swamp. Welcome back, everybody. 8.04 to go in our game, which is flying along. 28 to 3, the lead for Clovis North. Little old school feel to this game. A couple of offenses using the ground for the majority of their offensive output. Deliberate tempo on both sides of the ball. And this game, yeah, this game's flying by. Matson to kick off. Line drive taken inside the 10 and run back by Donovan Dunmore. Out across the 35. Stay tuned for your, well, that's not right. <laughs> the wrong one. You can catch a replay of tonight's game on YouTube. I took it down a little faster. Just than look I could for get Friday Night Rivals. <laughs> Big mountain to climb. Yeah, now you just kind of start working on stuff, right? Yeah, try to, you know, this is only the second start for Gio Chiramonte, so. You want to do things that he's comfortable with. He has done a nice job throwing the football when Buchanan has thrown the football tonight. And Buchanan has a lot of young athletes that play, I mean, big parts. Donovan Dunmore, sophomore. Carvel Wafer, freshman, has played a, a big role tonight. And they have a lot of skill players especially who are going to be really nice football players for them in the future. Chiramani looking to throw. Gets hit, knocked out of bounds as he was delivering it. Here's Kevin Miller with tonight's financial wellness tip. Kevin? I am here with the Clovis North Broncos! <laughs> hey, hey, what's good about being a Bronco? The spirit! Let's hear the spirit of the Broncos, the stampede! And hey, I hear you've got a question to ask. 
Whose house is this? Whoa! Whoa! The Stampede coming at you. Make some noise! Woo! Well, Cam, back to you. All right, thank you, Kevin. Third down play. Balls away! No, my ball. Ceremony pulls it down and is going to run it across the 45. Got the, got the ref mic on. <laughs> he said the ball's away, but the ball was not away. <laughs> he said, my bad. <laughs> oh, man, that was, that was too good. And we, we had some fun it. with the officials the last couple of games. We heard all of it. Oh, that was nice. Nice pickup again. Chiaramonte, nothing open. Uh, uses his legs to, to pick up the first down. Or, sorry, pick up positive yarders, set up this fourth and short. Germani kept it and lost the yard. So the Bears will turn it over on downs, unable to convert the fourth and short. Yeah, once again, the Broncos just all night winning the battle in the trenches. Ross Sinfell again. Sinfell again. Sinfell and Bitter. Just tr tracking Chiramonte down the line of scrimmage. Very physical at the point of attack and turning Buchanan away. All right, we, we still got the officials, Mike Hawk, yeah. so better be careful here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good. Sinfell, maybe back to the line of scrimmage. You want to read that one, Cam? Right after the game, stay tuned for F Boy Island. That's coming up on the CW 59. Good job. You got it. We'll be watching. Can't wait <laughs> for that one. Can't wait. Well, this was impressive. I was impressed by Buchanan offensively as well, though. You know, quarterback starting his second game this season. They moved the ball between the 20s, just couldn't put put the ball in the end zone, in the red zone. Sinfield just kind of putting his stamp on that player of the game. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure there's much anybody else can do to wrestle that one away from him at this point in the game. He's been as advertised. Got in the end zone a couple times tonight. He's been the workhorse on the ground for Clovis North. So it's the first and ten sponsored by K1 Speed Arrive and Drive from the 28. Cosmo going to throw, and he's got a guy wide open. Pass is complete. Taken down to about... The 25-yard line. That ball was caught by Levi Spritz. Yeah, another high percentage pass. If you're going to throw the ball, you know, with a 28-3 lead, five minutes left on the clock, you want to keep this Buchanan defense. You want to make them defend everything you can do. Keep them honest. That was a very high percentage throw and a good yeah. job by... Cosma just getting rid of that one for what, a completion. What they call the long handoff, basically, is what that was. Uh, Sinfell. Look, and look at the guys all in red strewn around him. It's like he just came out of a pinata. Yeah, just a, a wrecking ball, but a nice job by Buchanan defensively. Yeah. Stringing that out, not allowing a crease. Approaching four minutes to go. Mike Jacot, he's up 28-3. He just does not look happy on the sideline. He's coaching up Jackson Simfell. I guess a coach, you're, you're, you're never satisfied. Matt's in the ball carrier. Okay, here is Kevin Miller with tonight's financial wellness tip. Here's Premier Valley Bank with your student financial tip. It isn't too early to start saving for retirement. Really, 
the power of compounding interest means the sooner you start saving, the longer your money has to grow. If you're earning income from a part-time job, you can use that money to fund a tax-advantaged individual retirement account, IRA, and start down the path toward lifelong financial stability. This tip was brought to you by Premier Valley Bank, a division of HTLF Bank and a local partner you can always depend on. HTLF Bank is a member of FDIC and an equal housing lender. Ralph Cam, back to you. Cosmo trying to throw. Now he's going to run inside the 20, run out of bounds at about the 17. That gets the Broncos back into the Toyota red zone. And it's a first and 10. Sponsored by K1 Speed, arrive and drive. Nice job by Cosmo. Fourth down conversion picked up with his legs. Nobody open downfield. Nice man coverage by Buchanan. And Cosmo escapes the rush. Picks up enough with his legs to move the chains. Keep Clovis, North, Clovis North's offense on the football field. Here's Madsen. Tries the outside. Now cuts it back inside. All right, be sure to join us next week. Our game has the Madera Coyotes taking on Justin Garza Guardians. That's Friday, October 27th, 7 p.m. right here on CW59. Last regular season game, and then get ready for the Central Section playoffs. See where everybody is seated after next weekend's games. Excited to see Clovis North runs the table. No doubt they're the one seed, and... The Division One Championship comes right through here through Veterans Memorial Stadium. Oh my goodness! <laughs> His own player over. Sinfeld, ball carrier. Kyle Kabashi just trying to make a block, and Jackson Sinfeld just get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Man, friendly fire! I've, so many linebackers at Fresno State. Unfortunately for them, got hit very hard in the back. By me coming downhill, just trying to hit the ball carry and instead hitting them in the back. And that's exactly what Kyle Kobashi just got on that run from Jackson Simfell. Oh, looks like a little wildcat. Okay, Madsen. That's more like it. All right, I'm going to you guys get up. Madsen keeps it. Picking his way down near the goal line. Hey, stay tuned at the conclusion of tonight's game for the postgame wrap up and the presentation of the EECU player of the game. It's a nice little wrinkle. Vinny Cordoba in the backfield as a running back, running that outside zone read. McKay Matson keeps it. He's able to break a couple tackles and pick up a first down. But that's a, that's a nice short yardage red zone personnel package that Clovis North could use more of. First and goal from the two. As they uh, they start to play stiffer competition in the this Division One Central Section playoffs, it's a substitution penalty. I think is that what I saw? Yeah. Yep. Oh. So they'll roll the clock. Maybe one more play here if they're just going to run it, let it run out. Tonight's fourth quarter has been sponsored by Fresno Mazda. They're not going to run any more plays, are they? No. And they're just going to let this clock run out. Yep. And that'll do it. Clovis North behind Jackson Sinfeld remains unbeaten. Now 9-0 overall. 4-0 in the track. And as you said, Ken, in control right now. Yep. 28-3, our final score. We're going to take a timeout and come back with the postgame. Welcome back to the postgame wrap-up. Now we're going to toss it down to Kevin Miller with the presentation of the EECU player of the game.
weed. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go ahead and do play of the game. Yeah, Sponsored I think by Jack in the Box, now serving everything. Doing some alma mater stuff down Here there. Here it is, the play of the game, the bomb. Mario Cosma to Vincent Cordoba in stride and gone. That was a dime, a dime. I mean, hit Vinny Cordoba perfectly in stride. He was running full speed, too. Still hit him perfectly in stride. That was well executed really one deep shot clovis north took all night and they hit it for a big one and it was only a seven to three game at the time yeah right? it was so close yeah that they... was a big in the outcome of the game as well again the play of the game sponsored by jack in the box now serving everything and they had just stopped buchanan on a fourth down conversion right after the game stay tuned for cam's favorite show f Boy Island that's coming up on the CW 59. I got the I got the DVR set for that one. So if I miss it, it's going to show back. up next week with a bunch of merchandise. Yep, go stuff. back and be able to watch that one after this. <laughs> look look ahead to one more week, final week of the regular yeah. season. That's our our next game, Madeira and Garza. Yeah, excited to see where everything shakes out. Like we said, Clovis North has a tough Central team. Central, yeah. they're rolling. And if Central beats Clovis North, they're co-track champions. They, since they made the switch to David Marquez in the second half against Clovis, they have played really good football. Were able to beat Clovis West last night. So, you know, only one loss in the track so far for Central. So that's a big game. If Clovis North wins, they're undefeated. They're the number one seed. Liberty will have to come up here if everybody handles business. I expect Liberty to be the two seed. The Doc B victory bell goes to the yep. winner of this game. The victory bell, something at stake for these guys. And just a real, another illustration, illustration of the rivalry. So many of these schools are so close to one another. Yeah. Clovis, Clovis West. And, well, I'm told that Kevin's got the, got the crew down there. So let's send it to Kevin. It's all yours, Kevin. Hey, we are in the midst of some festivities because we are with the victorious Clovis North Broncos. Hey, and peep this right here. This is the coveted Doc B victory bell. You ring that bell, Broncos. This is a true rivalry be between Buchanan and Clovis North, and they got the bell, and they are victorious. And, of course, a lot of that is due to our player of the game, number 21, Jackson, Sinfell, where you at? Where's Jackson? Jackson, where is he? He's hustling. Two touchdowns rushing. Congratulations to him. Jackson, come on over. He's doing interviews. He's signing autographs, all that kind of stuff. One more time for our player of the game. All right, so big win tonight. You guys have a commanding lead in the track. What is the strength of this Bronco team? We work as a team. We're a family. We just execute. Yep. And they're taking care of business. We are running with the Stampede one more time. Congratulations, the Clovis North Broncos. Congratulations, Jackson. Congrats, man. Player of the game. All right. Ralph Cam, back to you. I think we're going to be back here at some point in playoffs. Huh? Back to you. <laughs> You're probably right. I think yeah. so. I think we will be we will be back here with the title on the line. All right, we had another fun night of Friday Night Rivals brought to you by Les Schwab Tires. 28 to 3 again our final score. Clovis North with a win improves to 9 and overall 4 and 0 oh in the track. And uh, look like they're ready to do some damage to the Broncos. Yeah, that, I they, they do not look that excited about a 28-3 to win over a rival. I think they know that they left some things out there. Mike Jaycott going to talk about it, I'm sure, tomorrow watching tape. This team, they have one goal in mind, and that's winning a section championship and then trying to go and win a state championship. And they, I, I don't see a lot of excitement over a, a track win tonight. 
lot of other teams not out there, satisfied. though. Not satisfied. Kind yeah. of tough, too. You know, oh, yeah. Thinking about maybe Clovis East, Liberty down south. Yes, I mean, they're... You know? they're Division one is going to be stacked this year. Hanford, probably a division one team. I mean, there are a lot of teams that are really good. And this team, I think their only focus is taking care of business each week to set up ourselves up with the opportunity to win the big one at the end of the season. And, you know, a win like this, they're happy for it, but they're going to take it and improve and try to set themselves up better next time. You just you get that feeling that they're not satisfied with anything right now until they get to where they want to get to. The Stars come out at night, and we saw them in the 28-3 win for Clovis North over Buchanan. We thank you for watching. We'll be back again next week at CW59 at 7. We hope to see you then. Again, our final score, 28-3. Clovis North wins over Buchanan. Good night, everybody.